Welcome back to your Football Manager channel. This is FM Pepe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. How you doing guys? Welcome back to your Football Manager channel. I'm FM Pepe and I'm just about to sell on a sorry, sell a sell on clause um, for Kawasu Ibuwe, I think it was. Let's see. Um yeah, Kawasi Ibuwe. So, 20% of his next transfer was due to go to us. We just sold it for 205 grand. That puts a couple hundred grand in the transfer budget in the bank. Um, it's not going to make a dent, but it keeps us out of zero. And today we're playing Sheriff Terrace Ball. Um... There's quite a lot of transfer activity going on in Scotland. We've already done ours. Um, Celtic fans confident of a big win. And just before we do that, let's go to staff here. And let's see. Head of Youth Development. I think is now going to be uh, Reese 1888 Dale there we go so yeah Reese, uh, part of the team head of youth development working with youngsters 20 so pretty damn good um, I, let's do something about your age there let's um, edit personal details is it bald oh, we'll give you short hair I'm not I'm, I won't let you be bald mate I won't let you be bald don't worry uh, favourite club Celtic ok how do I edit your huh how do I edit your age? Ah, there we go. Uh, let's say 19... 1989 was a good year. Might make you a little older than you, you are, I don't know, but anyway. Um, stop editing, there we go. That That's the reason I pay four quid, so I can do things like that. <laughs> And my uh, my experiment videos. So this little thing up here, uh, FM in game editor. It's just literally so I could do stuff like that. Um, it's brilliant. <laughs> it's a nice little tool. Um, I don't use it to get out of trouble in the game. If I get sacked, I get sacked. If you see my other series, then <laughs> then you'll know that. Uh, that's true. Uh, QPR want him on loan. I've told them to reject all offers, I'm sure. Yeah, reject all transfer offers. Ridiculous. Falkirk, I've told them to reject all for him as well. Um, we're going to need those players for the cup games. Alright, so Nathan Cooney's been making good progression. Let's work on his uh, defensive positioning. Praise his training. Um, in the next episode, I might have a little look at the youth players uh, for us. But for now, I think we got to pick a team. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we don't have a lot to pick from. Uh, these are what's available. Um, I think Marciano can come in for a game. Um... Doing. Go on the bench. Let's see who's in worse shape. Uh, Mikey Johnston's back. Mikey Johnston's back from injury. Have some of that. Get in. Jared Bowen needs a game. Tonali also. Greg Taylor. Porteous needs a game. Oh, Dembele. Um, 
Larson probably needs a game up front. Let's play Jordan Larson up front. I'm loath to play Dembele because of the performance before. Let's play Shved. Um, in that attacking centre mid role. We'll put Finley in there and midfield. I think Zachariah will go in there and then we'll just fill it with the rest of the team, I think. There we go. Um Yeah, so Keen, Christy, Miranda and Cham. We'll give him a day off. Um let's see Shved You're gonna play as Shadow Striker today. O'Donnell, you're going to play as a fullback that attacks. Oh, God, hang on. Mike Johnson's still injured. Returns full fitness imminently. Ah, right. Um, Pooh. <laughs> uh, that's not good right um, let's put Christian let's not rush him because I don't want to injure him again um, right so let's have Shred on the right Bowen on the left Christie in the middle um yeah, I think that works. Hang on. Bowen. Inverted winger support. Inverted winger. Oh, attack. Alright. So. That looks like the team for me. Um, pretty good. Marciano. O'Donnell. Porteous. Finley. Taylor across the back. Tonali and Zachariah. Uh, which is fed. Christy. Bowen. Behind Larson. Um, on the bench, we'll have uh, Dewan, McKenna, Aya, um, Dembele, um, Fredericks, Al Sharari, and Keen. Or should we put Cham in there? Uh, yeah, let's put Cham in there for Dembele. We got Fredericks to play down the right if we need him. Now I know it can be a bit boring on international duty, and well, he is only seventeen, but he's pulled his wrist ligaments. I've never seen that in a game before. Pulled wrist ligaments. The look of guilt on his face right now. Oh my word. Okay, so they're going to be playing two defensive mids. Um, and what is a bit of a change, I think they just went a normal 4 2 3 1 like us last time. So we give them a good whooping 6 0. There's a lot of empty seats. I don't think their fans want to. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they want to see what happens next, but here we go. Shred with a foul. There's O'Donnell crossing. Zachariah's coming on to that. To Nally. Back to Zachariah who hit an absolute worldy in the last one. Top bins from him in the last one. Oh, this glitchiness is killing me. I've I've heard quite a few football managers complaining how glitchy the games become for some reason. 
I think it's uh, it's not good, but I'll have a little fiddle around with it later, see if I can do something. Have a little search on the internet as to why it's glitchy. Oh, Zachary takes it up. Bowen! Oh, brings a save from Gregor, who, let's be honest, in the last game was probably man a match for them. He was outstanding. Uh, Tonali whips one in. O'Donnell picks it up. Back to Tonali. Oh, Christy, Zachariah look, looking out wide to find Taylor, I think. No. Here's Tonali with a free kick at this wall. Shved. Shielding the ball. Back to Taylor. This team's uh, pretty disjointed. They're not played together before this uh, particular 11. Is Jared Bowen fed? Oh, Bowen. No, wide. They're inspired by the feedback, huh? Well, I'll combat that. <laughs> I praise my lads. Finley forward for Bowen. Cuts inside. Looks for Jordan Larson who takes it on really well. Ah, oh, cross the face of goal. Neither a cross or shot. Oh, there you go. My players are a bit fired up. That was dodgy. Dodgy keeper. Got away with it the first time and the second time. I don't know if he'll get away with that a third time. Oh, they're through on goal. Oh, they've scored. Vitali Arabadji. The comeback's on, people. 6 1 on aggregate. <laughs> oh, dear. He missed that header. It wasn't Finley. Finley's the ginger one. Who was it that missed that header? I think it was Porteous. Ryan Porteous. And he's feeling aggressive about it. That's his body language. Show some passion, lads. As Tonali whips a corner in. Sved heads it. Grigor saves. Big kick by the keeper. Tonali with a header. O'Donnell picks it up. Looks like he's wearing gloves. Christie finds. Oh, no. Bowen does pick it up. He was looking for him, but he didn't get it. Bowen does, however, feed it to O'Donnell. It's tackled in the box. And they come down the left hand side with it. Shved wins it back. Oh, he's a. He's going to be a little diamond for us this year. Zachariah to Bowen. Shoots wide. I've just got a feeling about Shved. i I just got a feeling he's going to do well for us this year. I think Zachariah is going to be pivotal. Him and Tonali, by the way. Two top midfield players. I think they're an improvement on last year. We still have Cham as well. Look at Shved winning it back. I think Bauer and El Hamid was it that we had? Leaving it right back and us getting O'Donnell and Fredericks. That's good. Two foreign lads out, two Scottish lads in. Um, that helps with the registration as well. David Anderson says, tell the boys they did well and their efforts were excellent. What? We're, we're losing 1-0. Are you serious? I, I can't do that. I'm not happy with your performance. Get out there and put it right. David, are you, were you just being sarcastic in that dressing room then? So, tell me what's happening, Neo. <laughs> what's going on? Don't 
Greg Taylor, Zachariah is going to cross. Oh, whips one and Grigor with the acrobatic uh, catch. Ryan Christie's been booked. There's Fred. Here he is again. He's going to score here. Oh. See, I'm, I'm starting to back him now. I'm starting to back him to score and do bits. I think Shred will definitely do bits. Zachariah. It's just a beast in midfield. Finley finds Taylor. Zachariah finds him. Look at that. Good play down that left-hand side. Oh. Zachariah. Oh. Wide. I thought someone was going to come at that then. Boys, get creative. Oh, a few of them pressured. My centre halves are pressured. So is my keeper. I don't think they can get creative. Um, Jordan Larson is having a stinker. 6.4. Christie at 6.4. Here's Zachariah. Finding O'Donnell. No. Right, I think we're going to have to go to a 4-3-3 here. Let's see how this highlight plays out. And let's go very attacking as well. Is Christie skipping past the challenge? Bowing down the left. Shred. Oh, O'Donnell. Bowen. Oh, Jared Bowen. Equaliser. There we go. So I'm still going to... Uh, still going to go 4-3-3 three, three here, I think. We'll put Shred and Bowen up front. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll bring Cham into midfield for Christie. Uh, have him as an advanced playmaker who attacks. I think we'll bring on Moyes Keane for Bowen, who's just scored. But no sentiment here, boys. Pressing forward who attacks. Shred wants to be a false nine. Do I have anyone else? I mean, Ashrari, Ayer, McKenna. I think we'll bring an Ayer for Porteous because he did miss the header. We'll confirm those changes. Triple substitution. 4-3-3 formation now. Oh, Finley dealt with Lukic there. We know from the last game Lukic is 6 foot 4. So Moise Keane gets hold of this one. Cuts inside. Oh keeper made a great save. Oh man. You get a little extra money for winning. You know, you get money for drawing, um, but you, I think it's like twice as much for winning. So there's always an incentive to go for it. Here's Moise Keane now. Looking busy after coming on. Oh, terrible right foot shot. Did everything left footed and then shot right foot. Tonali. Ooh, it's in the mixer. Moyes Keane to Cham. He can hit them as well. Looks for O'Donnell. Keane at the back post. Yes! Oh no! Oh, he's headed it over. Oh. Moyes Keane, what are you doing? Dear me. Praise them. That seems to work all the time. That's my go-to shout at the moment. Larson's through. 
Oh, he's put it in the back of the net. He's offside, is he? Oh, you're having a laugh. Yeah, the assistant referee raised his flag. Oh, Larson's got it again. Oh, good go with the save. He tried to chip him, it didn't work. We go with a big kick. O'Donnell goes up to win that. Finley. On to Cham. And to Moyes Keane. Strong on the ball. Larson's through. We go again. One on one. Oh my god, this keeper. He is ridiculous. Tonali with a corner. Ah, oh, the keeper comes and claims it. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> this guy, Grigor. Like, honestly. Oh, good block by Cham. If you're playing a non league save or anything like that, really, really low, go, just go get him. Vasily Grigor. He's Moldovan. And he's just. He's just had two of the games of his life against me. So, and they've managed to get a draw, which is very credible for them. I'm going to tell the boys they did excellent. Because that's what David Anderson thinks I should do. So I'm going to trust him. And there we go. Um, we are through to the next round. 7-1. Um, Dean Campbell who signed for us is doing well in the reserves. Okay. Looking good. So, we play St. Johnston next and the league campaign gets underway. So, Rodrigo Pinero and Nathan Bitumazala are our players on loan to them, so they can't play against us. Uh, Bruno Gomez is away on international duty with Brazil under-23s. Um, Otton Edwards away with the under-23s of France. Vavro's got a hamstring and Almeida's got a concussion. So we should have a full or more or less full team considering what we've just had to play. <laughs> Not a lot to choose from. Um, so yeah, in three days time hopefully the condition of some of the players will look good. There's quite a few players here who need a bit of uh, game time. And uh, a bit of match practice, so I think St. Johnston might be the team we do that against. So, come back again, and let's see how the league campaign starts. Hopefully, great victory to begin with. We'll find out. I'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in.